and a big I suppose hot topic at the minute is all about sustainability like what exactly is a sustainable diet yeah I feel it's a buzzword that people say a lot but never really think about so from a from a dietary perspective when we look at sustainable eating first and foremost it has to be nutritious you you have to at all costs have your micronutrient and macronutrient requirements met that's the first thing the other three pillars of sustainability are that it's economically viable it's accessible and it's not having a major impact on the environment so practically if you're following the food pyramid you know you're, you're having your varied diet you're getting plenty of fruit and vegetables in you are already eating relatively sustainably and here in ireland it's very easy to do that if we look at let's say dairy which a lot of countries who have produced guidelines on sustainable eating suggest dairy should be included in moderate amounts in ireland dairy is in season all year round and it's right on your doorstep so that's that that can be easily integrated as part of a sustainable diet a sustainable balanced diet i suppose along with your fruit and vegetables but you don't necessarily have to do anything other than that to do your part for sustainability that's really good to know so what i have next is another great lunchbox filler recipe and i'm going to use um, just yogurt in it so plain yogurt and as you said it's local it's very accessible and it and it's it's tasty so what i have is some pre-cooked um pasta so this is fully cooled down and what it's going to be perfect now to go into the lunchbox so I'm going to make up a sauce then using the yogurt. So I'm going to add into that just the pasta and then also then some pesto as well. So I'm making a chickpea pesto pasta salad. What do you think of that, Evan? What, how does it sound? Yeah, I think, you know what, it's a great combination of ingredients. And I suppose, God, I, I'm getting ideas standing here watching you. Like a, a lot of people might not link the ingredients they have in their fridge together to make an easy recipe. What I also do like about this is that you have some plant-based protein sources here. So chickpeas are a good plant-based protein source. If you, com if you combine them with a, a grain type food like your pasta, you will get your full complement of amino acids in your plate there. So that's, that's gonna be great for any plant-based people watching this video. It might be some recipe inspiration for them. Definitely, and great for us all just to change up what's in your lunchbox add a bit of variety to it yeah absolutely look the research is really clear that in general the more fruit and vegetables we can eat or the more plant-based foods we can eat the better it tends to bode for us and our health long term so adding in some chickpeas to your pasta that's a uh, that gets the nod for me all day it's a really quick and easy one yeah, exactly to change up so i've literally just mixed everything together so i think we'll have to give it a taste now in a minute great so again, as you were saying, um, we were talking about flavor and color. The tomatoes add a lovely little just pop of color into it. And again, the pesto just straight away, all I can smell is the pesto. So it just smells fantastic. So quick as well. Exactly. And, and like it's already cool. So just pop it straight into your lunchbox, into the fridge and away you go. And if we look back, you know, maybe at the food sustainability side of things again, I know at home we always make way too much pasta. This would be a great way to, I don't know, would you call it recycle, recycle leftovers into a great lunch? Definitely. Yeah. Reducing food waste is so, so important. So do you want to give it a go? Yeah, Give absolutely. it a taste. Let's see. For further information, tips and recipes, go to ndc.ie or at ndc underscore IE on social media.